Lost Lake to Deacon. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Let's lock it down. No, don't, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, a, a freak, that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Well, Brian out. Sound off. I'm clear. Clear. Perimeter's clear. Doc, you're good to go. Hey, Doc. Yeah? I never got that. Got what? The whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. But before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? Precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenoids into an active state. Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is, that, is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge.
the data. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about, um... About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Hey, Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freeze. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Beacon out. <laughs> All right, bud. Where the hell are you? <clears throat> newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. More bounties. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. Like uh, the kind of prince that some fancy cowboy boots.
one's here! Burn him down! Thank <laughs> you. 
buddy. We know you're out there. Why don't you drop your weapon? Come out where we can see it. Are you hiding right ah. here somewhere?
Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. Thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay. Let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? Been a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freak stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of him. All right. You uh, you were saying something? It's nice work. I think Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when. Lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there, and there's way more than that. Riddled all over. Th okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. You brought me out of here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Now don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, and Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? I was closed off. No one's been south of the Sentium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. 
Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. Oh, my God damn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we... Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do? Where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one? Still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the grotto caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake, and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. This idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Yeah.